Hey traders, welcome back to another daily profit and loss recap video. Today is Wednesday, June 14th. I just finished up trading for the morning after the market has only been open for about 30 minutes. And I locked in $2,954 in profits. I had three trades, all of them were winning trades. And in this video, I'm going to break down these trades, talk about my thought process behind them. So hopefully you could take something from my trading and apply it to your own. Okay, so I don't wanna waste any time. The main trade for me today was WETG. This one ended up being a $2,084 profit on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this trade. We can see in pre-market here, big move to the upside. The previous day's close on this stock was only $8.44 and it spiked all the way up to a high today of $23.16. Most of that move happened in a very short period of time in the pre-market session from about 8.30 until the market opened at 9.30. And if we take a quick look here at the Market Master Group, um, these are the posts that I have for WETG. We could see that on Monday at 10.55 a.m., I posted WETG on watch here, volume still low, but starting to curl up and had a reverse split on Friday. Scroll a bit further, we can see the news for WETG was a one for 185 reverse split for the stock. For those of you that don't know about reverse splits, what this means is for every 185 shares somebody owns for the stock, they would now have one share, but at 185 times the value. So they're not losing any value necessarily from that reverse split on its own. They're just going to have significantly less shares at a much higher price. But the important thing to remember about reverse splits is now the number of shares outstanding for the stock is going to be divided by 185. So this is how these super low float stocks are created. If we take a look at the Market Master Group scanners here, we can see that WETG has a float of only 336,000 shares, which is a very, very small float. And that's exactly why I was so confident in taking this trade in pre-market, since I knew from posting on Monday that this stock already had a reverse split. And one of the recent examples of a big reverse split pump that we've seen um, off the top of my head is APRN. If we take a look at the past couple of days, we can see that on Friday last week, this had this big spike up from under $5 per share up to a high the same day of $10.49. And this is nothing new. It's pretty common to see a post reverse split pump. So that's kind of why I decided to go against what I usually would do and uh, bought some shares in pre-market as opposed to waiting for the stock to open and then look for either an opening range breakout or some kind of dip and rip situation. Let's get into the trade itself. When I started to first buy into this, I posted in the Market Master Group right after 8.40, I believe that this was starting to pick up some momentum. At the current time, the stock was trading in the mid 11s. And I wanna zoom in here because it's a little bit tricky to see from out here. Um, what I noticed and the reason that I got into this position in the first place was something in the candlesticks here. And I want you to take a second and see if there's anything that you notice within this time frame that would be a buy signal if you were watching it in real time. Aside from the overall upward movement in the stock, what I noticed at the time was this candlestick right here in particular, the volume is substantially lower than all of these previous candlesticks, which tells me that these green candlesticks before have much stronger demand than this small red candlestick has supply. A lot of traders think that volume decreasing is a bearish sign for the stock no matter what, but if you see volume decreasing on a small red candle, that can actually be a very bullish sign for the stock. And that simply means that there's not a lot of sellers coming in during this small pullback and that overall the buyers are still in control. And then following that candlestick, we can also see we get a bullish engulfing candlestick because this green candlestick that follows with much stronger volume, mind you, completely engulfs this previous smaller red candle. Okay, so at that point, once I noticed this and I was still watching the level two in time and sales and I saw all these buyers starting to step in, that's why I decided to take a position in this stock. It was a relatively small position because again, I typically don't trade in pre-market. So I only bought 500 shares, but I was in in the 1260s. And finally, if you've been watching these videos, you know that the one thing that I complain about with my own trading time and time again is that I need to be more patient with my winning trades. I was able to do that with this trade, thankfully, and I think I really made the most out of this trade. I started to lock in some profits first in the mid 14s. Once I started to see these three candlesticks here, which all had relatively long upper wicks on them, 
On top of that, this candlestick where it makes a new high has much less volume than the candlestick where the previous high was at. That's something that a lot of times we see when there is a false breakout. So I locked in partial profits once I started to see that. And then what I did was I placed a stop loss at break even for the rest of my shares down here in the 1260s. And I decided that the rest of my shares were going to be either at break even or I was going to let them really run all the way up until the market opened. And that's exactly what I did. I locked in the rest of my profits up here right around $20 per share once this thing really started to pick up some serious momentum into the open. And that's just because I didn't want to hold any shares into the open. That to me was a very high risk setup since the stock had already ran so significantly from the pre-market lows. And when it was all said and done on that trade alone, like I mentioned, I ended up with $2,084 in profits. Really solid trade. I'm really happy with how it turned out and it was all posted about in real time in the Market Master group. So hopefully some of our team was able to make some money on this trade as well. The next one that I want to talk about is actually going to be next, NEXT. This was a really solid opening range breakout this morning. We had a pretty decent gap up here in pre-market, traded sideways and held gains relatively well all the way until the market opened. Then if we take a look at the five minute chart, we can see our opening range breakout level is going to be the high of this first five minute candle, which is $6.52. So if I draw that, we can see that right away, the following candle, we have that opening range breakout straight through on increasing volume. Once again, one thing that is important to me is posting these trades in real time in the Market Master Group to make sure that our team is also able to capitalize on these trades. So I posted about NEXT at 9.38 this morning once it started to hit the opening range breakout scanner. And at the same time, I took my starter position in this trade in the 660s, locked in some profits up in the 690s just in case that $7 whole number level became an area of resistance. And I locked in the rest of my profits a bit too early on this one, up just under 720 since 720 was the pre-market high. To me, there was a good chance it was going to reject that area, especially once we got this big spike in volume. That to me looked like it could have been a potential volume exhaustion level. So I locked in the rest of my profits. Um, as we can see, it ended up pushing through and making new highs, hitting a high of $7.84. Regardless, it was still a very quick and easy opening range breakout trade. And on that trade alone, I ended up with $804 in profits. So the last trade for me was CVNA. Carvana, this was a stock that we take a look down here at the daily chart, has had quite a bit of upward momentum lately. We had this big squeeze up last week, which was followed immediately by a sell off back to the downside. And so far, Monday, Tuesday, and a little bit this morning, Wednesday as well, we've seen it start to bounce back from that sell off that we saw on last Friday. So this was in the trade plans last night in the Market Master Group. We were watching for a breakout above the $24 level. The reason for that is pretty simple. If we take a look at Tuesday's afternoon session, we can see that there is one, two, three times where it peaks in the $24 level. So for me, I really liked this setup if it was able to start breaking above that level for a push to new highs. I decided to take a starter position in the stock in the 2390s. Once I saw that it pushed up into that 24 level, it dipped down into the 2370s very quickly and then came straight back up. I assumed then it was going to be able to break through that 24 level. So I took a position, only 500 shares, and real quickly from there, ramped up into the 2450s. I was hoping to see this push up towards $25 per share, but it rejected, had a triple top here right around the 2460 level. So once I saw that triple top and it started to pull back down, I locked in some profits. And then I stopped out and sold the rest of my shares pretty much at break even with a very small profit overall on that trade of just $65. So that brought my total profits for the day to $2,954. It was definitely a solid morning of trading considering I made this much and was done trading only about 30 minutes after the market opened. And on top of that, all of the strategies and everything that I used for these trades were relatively simple and they're things that I've talked about here on YouTube as well as in my premium courses that we offer at Master the Market. Just trading opening range breakouts, doing some basic candlestick analysis, looking into the volume and so on and so forth. All of these things are relatively simple and that's exactly what I use to make these profits today. Okay, so hopefully you found some value in this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. 
And if you want to hear about these stocks that I'm trading in real time, make sure to come join us in the Market Master Group. We provide everything that you can need as a trader to improve your trading and start making consistent profits. And we do offer a one-week trial so you can come try it out for 100% free. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your trading.